Hi, everyone. My name is TK Tunches. I am the founder and director of Frida Friday ATX. And we are so excited to be joining the ESB Mac for the Dia de los Muertos event today. I'm thrilled to introduce you to our, one of our dear friends, Evie, who is going to be talking to you about her work. And we're going to do a studio tour with you, Evie. I'm Evie Carr. Uh, I am a potter by uh, main trade, but once I started getting into Dia de los Muertos, I started doing a lot more of the painting and tile work. Um, I've been an artist for over 25 years, uh, doing mostly functional work like bowls and things. Um, I really wanted to bring that Day of the Dead. There's such a joy to it, like remembering uh, people in our lives and stuff rather than mourning and being sad and dark. I wanted to bring that joy and vibrancy. This is my rhinoceros. Wow. For anybody who understands or knows pottery, uh, if you throw a form and you close it, so usually you're, you open it up, you make a bowl, but if you throw it and you close it, you trap air. So that's how I started making these animal skulls, is I would throw a piece, I would trap the air inside it, and then I would start to form. Of course, I had to do a unicorn because, you know, they're real to so many of us. Mm -hmm. um, but then I would carve and sculpt out the pieces with just having that air pressure in there. And it became uh, just one of my favorite ways to work. Mm -hmm. So that's when I started making my bowls. So it's a little calavera, but you could turn it upside down and it's food safe. That. <laughs> um, so that way you can kind of use it as well. You know, not, not everybody has space to have a lot of decorative things and utilitarian things. So I wanted something that you could use, but I also do tiles. And so this is one of my, uh, I have a lot of very consistent imagery. So you'll see the altar with the three skulls, the mermaid and the wood burning. So this is a, a birch panel. I do a wood burning of the image and use watercolor. But like I want to remember people. And if I'm sad because someone's not here, it means that I had the opportunity to know them and love them, and that's what I want to celebrate, and that's what I do for my art. As a maker, it's really, especially if something that's very popular, it's hard to compete with mass-produced things, and just be solid in your value, and be like, this is what I am worth, and, and don't ever doubt that. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to us and letting us share some of our brilliant makers with you. I'm super excited to be sharing with you one of my favorite artist, Fernando, who represents La Familia Lorenzo. Hola, este, it's, it's, a, it's a pleasure to be here. My family has been painting for three generations now. We've been painting for 50 years now. And um, our paintings are, you know, representative of, you know, different um, traditions and the culture from our pueblo. We are from the state of Guerrero in a small village called Charita. We call them pueblos. Uh, yeah, so... You know, there are paintings like this. Um, and like, for example, in here, you're, you're seeing, you know, a, a dance called La Danza de los Abuelos. And in the background, we normally use, you know, themes having to do with our pueblo, like our village, Shalitla, is surrounded by these beautiful mountains um, or hills, as we call them. And we have these, you know, beautiful flowers, which we call pitones. And of course, get it was, you know, hot. So we have this, you know, beautiful sun. We also have things like this one here, where the Hawares are very, you know, strong um, representative icon and dancer um, for Guerrerenses. And once again, we have here the hills and, you know, the flowers, los pitones. And like I said, it, it has everything to do with us, las toreadas, or el, el jaripeo, as we call them, you know, things we, we practice, like I said. We have tales that grandma and grandpa tell us. La sirena, si vas, if you go to the hills at certain hours, you know, you might be taken by la sirena. We have the couples in the pueblos. Everything in our paintings has to do with um, things we live, in our pueblos, things we see, um, people we know, we want to um, share with the world um, our traditions, our our um, 
identity. And my grandfather has started with um, religious themes. He was, he's a very religious, he's very Catholic. So his, his um, paintings back then were considered retablos um, due to the fact that, you know, they were um, the Virgen de Guadalupe, they were um, Jesus, Arca de Noé, all these beautiful themes. Um, we have just, you know, recently, or, you know, the second generation has taken it to um, a different level where, yes, you know, the, the, the religious themes and religious part of our tradition or our culture, but also, you know, the traditions ha or the traditional dances have to do with all these things as well. You know, their offerings to the universe um, to give thanks or to, to ask for, you know, goods and stuff um, that, you know, que nos vaya bien en el año, um, that we, you, we, uh, we, we prosper, like this one. Wow. Yeah. So, so it's pretty much a blend of, you know, the traditional way of painting, the traditional ideas, and um, we've taken it to a different level as well. Like, for example, you know. I love these. Napkin holders. We have hats, face masks, journals. You've been working on earrings, which I'm pretty sure you've seen. I love them. Because <laughs> you're so res resilient. Like y'all really have taken your artwork and your history and your um, cultura and like thought forward about how to make sure that it gets into the world. and. Um, to teach us all, you know, your, your, your wisdom and your um, practices. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much for this opportunity once again. Thank you very much for um, supporting my family, for giving other artists this opportunity as well. And uh, we really need it right now. And uh, yeah, like I said, check out our Instagram, check out our um, Etsy, uh, support an artist. Um, and uh, thank you. <laughs> Frida Friday ATX is a movement for gender and economic justice. We do this by creating local marketplaces and cultural spaces that promote and connect women of color while creating spaces that are culturally rich and diverse. Our goals are to create marketplaces that center, amplify, and connect women of color artisans in their communities and to grow women of color-led economies. We do this work to help bridge the wage gap that women of color experience and because we believe our communities deserve to be seen and celebrated. It's focused on creating a space where women of color can come together and celebrate themselves, celebrate each other, and really form community. TK Tunjas, Las Ofrendas, and Frida Friday ATX founder.